Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today on my latest episode on the LFC Daily Fan News. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a thing in terms of transfers, team news, pre-match and post-match builds up in terms of I speak to every single one of my subscribers, love interacting with every single one of you and we've got a Champions League final to look forward to and it's less than under two weeks away and there's going to be so much news coming up and about that team news will be very very exciting can Adam Lallana come back in contention obviously for a starting berth hopefully fingers crossed well thank you for tuning in everyone we've got a packed show for you today and we're talking about Mohamed Salah, Emre Chan, the new obviously Liverpool City Council have been planning the Champions League parade if Liverpool are successful in Kiev. The route has been confirmed and I've got all the details on in terms of that. The transfer rumour medi go rounds. I've got some crackers for you today in terms of obviously Jen Luigi Buffon has been getting linked and yet yeah, Yaya Torre. It's probably nonsense anyway, but we can discuss that later on in the episode anyway. But we'll start off the show. Obviously, with Mohamed Saleh, yeah, he's been nominated for PFA Fans Player of the Year Awards. I'm bringing this to your attention because, obviously, we need every single one of us to smash that vote for Mohamed Saleh. Let's get the king another, another award. Hopefully, it's not going to be the last one he will receive. Hopefully, he wins player of the game in, in Kiev, man of the match, and pl player of the tournament, hopefully. But yeah, I'll leave the link in that in the description so you can head over and vote for our Egyptian king. It would be lovely to see him get recognised by a lot of other fellow Premier League fans, especially this season. His boots have been placed in the British Museum, as you can see there. Uh, Mo's boots are in this, on the Egyptian display in the British Museum, which I think it's absolutely fantastic. They quoted it as saying, it's about the culture and the heritage of, obviously, the Egyptian, a modern age Egyptian, they are calling it on that display. But I think it's absolutely boss to see that in the British Museum. So if you're ever down in the British Museum, go and check Mo's boots out. Going into the transfer news now, obviously, Jorginho, has been linked with, obviously, the Italian central defensive midfielder. We've talked a lot about him this uh, last couple of months, but we, we were talking about him being linked with Manchester City, but his agent has come out today and obviously dismissed rumours and linking him with Liverpool and very much uh, closened the connection with Manchester City. He's basically come out and quoted as saying... Manchester City and Napoli are continuing to do negotiations and the player has basically set his, set his heart on Manchester. These are quotes coming from Jorginho's agent today. He's quoted as saying, Jorginho is still under contract, but if Napoli finds an agreement with City, then he goes to Manchester. Finds an, an agreement with the English won't be a problem considering their importance. But I repeat... It depends on Napoli as the player is tied to to the Azori for two more years. City are champions of England and amongst Europe's top clubs. <laughs> we beat them. Uh, now we are, must stay calm. If Napoli and City find a solution, we can talk about it. Otherwise, the player will be happy to stay at Napoli. So basically that more or less looking like Jorginho from all accounts coming from his agent, basically going to Manchester City, if they can agree with him, I'm pretty sure they will, City just throw everything at them anyway, but everyone get involved in the comment section below, are you a bit disappointed to see him, possibly Liverpool, possibly miss out on the Italian's signature, let me know in the comment section below, so we'll move on to the next transfer story, as this quote is saying, transfer many go round. The transfer window is officially open, but the two names that have been thrown into the hat, weirdly or not, I want to know your thoughts on these two key, two key players. Obviously, this morning it was confirmed by Juventus and Gianluigi Buffon. He is bringing a 17-year career with the Italian champions to an end. It's a very sad day for Italian football, and me as a fan, I've loved watching him grow up, and like he's one of the best goalkeepers in football 
in the entire world. The consistency in which he showed, but where does he then go? Will he go to the MLS? I think he possibly could, because that's where you're seeing the likes of Zlatan and Kaka. They've all, they've all moved stateside, so will Jen Luigi Buffon go to the MLS, retire over there? But for me, I would possibly bring him in as a coach slash player. I'd like to, but I don't see it happening. Let me put it straight there. I can't see this deal happening at all. I think it's just a, more or less a rumour that's been getting fabricated online. But let me know your thoughts on that. Would you take Jean Luigi Buffon at Liverpool? Yaya Torre, as, as I said, being released by Manchester City this Obviously, this season. Let me know your thoughts on that. For me, I, I can't possibly see Liverpool signing Yaya Torre. This is Q where Liverpool announced they've signed Yaya Torre tomorrow. But uh, let me know your thoughts. That's why I do my channel. I want to know every single one of your thoughts on the two players. Would you like to see one or maybe two or possibly none? So let me know in the comment section below on those two rumour transfers. Uh, obviously, Donna Rummer. It's been linked with Liverpool and he'd been getting linked with a lot of other top clubs. What top clubs would not want that Italian? He, he, he's only 19, 20 years old. He, he's he's a huge figurehead at this AC Milan team, but his contract is running out soon and a whole host of Premier League teams and Spanish teams will be hoping to secure the signature of Donnarumma. Obviously, with Genoese Buffon, Moving, would Juventus make a move for Donnarumma? I, I, for me personally, it makes all sense. But he's been getting talked about with Liverpool over the last couple of days. Let me know your thoughts on that. He's a absolutely world class goalkeeper. Given his age, it's absolutely frightening how good he is and how well he will like propel his career later on in the coming seasons. But let me know your thoughts on that story. Going on to the M.A. Chan story now, he's put a picture up on Instagram, as you can see there. He's having a lovely time. He's joined back up with the squad. Lovely time with the lads and the boys. Hopefully, they're all, all of them, every single one of them, are having a decent time over there. Preparation for the Champions League final. I'm pretty sure if M.A. Chan was going to cause a bit of trouble, I'm telling you what, like he would not be anywhere near that first team set up. So obviously, Emre Chan and Jürgen Klopp very much look like they've got a good understanding. They, they, they haven't fell out or anything, which is good to see. Uh, but obviously, Emre Chan he, he, he's cheering on his teammates and him personally getting his fitness up and running in the training camp in Marbella. To the final story, everyone. Obviously, Liverpool City Council have announced the route for Liverpool's potential Champions League winning Parade in Liverpool. Every single one of you that are watching this are probably, if Liverpool, hopefully we do win the Champions League. If you live in London, Manchester, Liverpool, anywhere in the world, in the UK as well, you would be very much travelling down to Liverpool to see the Reds parade the European Cup all around Liverpool. But there has been a, a reaction online, obviously, Joe Anderson had come out and said, and James Pearce has, has very much defended the claims of it being so close. And in terms of the fans that are over in, obviously, Kiev will not have enough time to possibly come back and see the parade. But it, it was very much the case with, obviously, Istanbul. A lot of fans were still left over in Turkey and they were unable to see. But if, you, if you've seen the lads win the European Cup in Kiev, it would be nice for every single red to see the lads lift the European Cup in our home uh, town. It would be amazing. But let me know your thoughts on that. I'll leave the description. So if you're a fellow Reds fan and you want to travel down, all the details are in the Liverpool, Liverpool Echoes piece. Absolutely quality. It pinpoints every single stop. It will be Liverpool travelling down, obviously, the Strand, L1. It'll be, obviously, on the 27th of May at noon that's when it, uh, the proceedings will start so let me know your thoughts are you traveling down or obviously every single one of us reds will be cheering on the lads hopefully when they have brought the european cup home but yeah everyone let me know your thoughts on that the full route and the details as i said are in the description but thank you very much everyone for your continued support 
you absolute legends. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, leave a like. It'd be very much appreciated, everyone. Thank you for watching up to this point, and I'll see you in another video. See you later, fellow Redmen. You never walk alone. Cheers.